All right, guys, today we are going to be doing a, another water bottle video similar to uh, what I did with the Circle water bottle where I kind of uh, reviewed it a little bit and then tested all of the flavors and rated them all uh, 1 through 10. Except for now we have a new uh, type of water bottle that's come on the market called a Sella. Before I get into this one, this one, this water bottle, I think should solve two of the problems that I had with the Circle. The first one being that the Circle... Um, used cartridges and you would put the cartridge in the top, screw it down. And then every time that you wanted to drink, you would have to pull the water through the cartridge to get the flavor, which took a lot of suction. And I think I even said this in the original video, by the time I got done with that video, trying all the different flavors they had, my mouth and tongue hurt from all that, from all the suction of having to pull all the water through those cartridges. Um, so that I was not really a fan of two. Almost all of the circle flavors were fla were sweetened with sucralose, which I'm not a fan of. And if I remember right, the only flavors from the circle that weren't flavored with su sucralose were all bad. And then they had unsweetened flavors that, if I remember right, were even worse than any of the other ones. And then they had, I think circle also had some that were sweetened with stevia, which were also really bad. And I even like the flavor of stevia. I know some people don't like it, but I actually like it. And I didn't, I didn't even like those. All of these cartridges are, they're all flavored with stevia, except for they have two unsweetened flavors. Hopefully they did it right and didn't make whatever mistake Circle made. The way this one works is you have two uh, openings on either side of the bottle. And then you put the cartridges inside the bottle and then you fill the bottle full of water, have like a clicker and every time you click the clicker, it adds flavor to the water. And then you're just, all your water's flavored. And then it's just a, other than that, it's just a regular bottle. You can just drink right out of it. You don't have to pull the liquid through a cartridge. So curious to see how that works. So first, let's get some water. I'm just going to fill eat, fill it up a little bit each time since I'm going to be trying every single flavor. Let's do fruit punch and water. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself here. They have different categories of flavors. So they have vitamin, five vitamin enhanced flavors, one caffeine flavor, two electrolyte flavors, and then two unsweetened flavors. They got fruit punch, crisp apple, watermelon, peach iced tea, strawberry lemonade, berry blast, and the berry blast has caffeine and it is uh, for every two clicks, 60 milligrams of caffeine. And then for the electrolyte, they have orange sport, watermelon sport, and then the unflavored, they have pineapple and lemonade, or just lemon. I wish that they had a pineapple that was sweetened because I love pineapple, but maybe, maybe that'll come in the future. So let's start. These flavors are probably going to be the best if I had to guess. So let's go with watermelon. Love watermelon. Let's go with strawberry lemonade. I accidentally smashed my finger with a hammer, so I'm like... Everything's hard to do. I'm down a finger. So it's got this. I think you just peel that off. I mean, that smells good. That sounds, that smells promising. So it's got a... Okay, well, let's not do that. I think you can't tilt the bottle without the cartridges in it. Oh, so just put that little, flip that little doodad down. And then put that in there. The watermelon smells really good. Now, ah, see, okay. So you can't, you gotta have the cartridges in there or the water will spill out. So let's go with, let's go with watermelon first because I love watermelon. I don't even know if anything came out. Nope, I don't think so. Oh, that was one. I did two. That might be a little bit strong. It smells good. That's pretty good. I think two clicks might be... I like really, really strong drinks. Let's go another click.
Oh, that's good. Like a like a Kool Aid type of watermelon. Not like a not like a natural watermelon, but like a sweet. Like, a, like whenever you were a kid and you were playing outside and you had Kool-Aid. It's like that type of flavor. That's good. Out of 10, I would say that is a that's a strong 8.5 or a 9 for sure. Let's get this water out of here. All right, strawberry lemonade. Let's go ahead and go. I'll start off with two, two clicks. Strawberry lemonade. That's also good, but also, I think I need another click. Okay, I'm pretty sure that when I did the circle video, I think they had a strawberry lemonade or something similar flavor. And theirs was very lopsided, if I remember right. It was like a lot of lemonade with a little bit of strawberry, or it was a ton of strawberry with a little bit of lemonade. This is exactly what I would want out of a strawberry lemonade because it's about 50-50 strawberry and lemonade. I like that a lot better. And all, all of these are flavored with stevia and they don't have the nasty flavor that the circle ones had. Whatever whatever circle messed up, these people did right. Seven and a half. It's, it's really good, but not to me, not as good as the watermelon. I'll, I'll put these in order so far as what I like the best. Actually, we'll start over here. Right now, watermelon's in first place. Strawberry lemonade in second place. Oh, now let's do fruit punch and peach iced tea. I guess now that I don't have water in it, I can show you exactly how this works. Okay, yeah, there you go. Don't put it backwards. And that's it. We're gonna go, let's go fruit punch first. I think we got three full clicks there. It smells like fruit punch. I think we need some more. I don't know if I actually got. The fruit punch is good. Granted, I'm not a big fan of fruit punch in general because I like to compare everything to Kool-Aid because that's just what I'm used to. It's like a, it tastes like a more, like a cleaner version of Kool-Aid, if that makes sense. Like Kool-Aid, the traditional Kool-Aid from the little packet and you put the sugar in, it's got kind of a, like a thick flavor, I guess you could say. This feels more kind of light and crispy. It's like a, like a, a, a cleaner Kool-Aid is what I would say. I would give that, even though I'm not a big fan of Fruit Punch, I would give that a, like a 7.8. I just remembered that I don't remember if in the video this, in the beginning of this video, I even said the name of this water bottle. It's called a Sella. So now we're going on to Peach Iced Tea. Okay, it's one, two, three. Smells really good. That's good. That tastes like iced tea. I think it's going to be bumping one of those two uh, down a little bit. I don't remember what I gave the watermelon. I think like an eight and a half or a nine. This would be, if this is an eight and a half, if watermelon's an 8.5, this is probably like an 8.4. Not as good as the watermelon, but right, I mean, nipping at its heels right there. So that, that's impressive. So the fruit punch is going to go there. That'll go there. And then the peach iced tea will go there. I think that's, I think that's a pretty good lineup right there. Okay, now we are going on to the crisp green apple and the berry blast energy. First, let's start off with the crisp green apple. That one felt like it squirted a lot more than the other ones.
Let's go one more. Hmm. It's good, but it's not what I was expecting. When I think of a green apple, you kind of think of like a, a tart, like grain smith apple. That's not exactly what I'm getting from this. Cause I think the circle had a flavor similar to this. And there's what there, there's had like a tartness, like a strong tartness to it. In this, I'm getting more of a, like a fresh apple flavor with just like a, a small amount of tartness on the back end, I guess. It's more pleasant than what I expected. I expected something to be a little bit more aggressive, but no, it's, it's actually just like a light, refreshing apple, little sweet with a little tart. Honestly, better than what I was expecting. <clears throat> I'd give that. I wouldn't put it above watermelon. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it above peach iced tea. Cause it, it's, it's better than peach iced tea. All right, let's go berry blast. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go three clicks right out the gate. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I think three clicks might be a little strong on that one. Let's add a little bit more water. I didn't, that, that had a, like a, a delayed reaction. It got uh, got a little thick there to the end. Let's dilute that a little bit. I forgot it's got the 60 milligrams of caffeine in it. So that probably, probably changes things a little bit. Okay, much better. <laughs> Way less concentrated. I don't know how to describe it. Because I, I don't know that I... I don't think I've had any flavor of anything that resembles that. It, it definitely has a berry flavor. So, But so far, if I'm going to put it in order, I think I'd have to put it down towards the bottom. Like, well, not towards the bottom. I would have to put it at the bottom. So far, it's, it's my least favorite. I don't know. It's not bad. It's just like a... It's not really doing it for me. You know, it doesn't give me what the watermelon gives me or what the, the green apple gives me. It's just kind of, it's just kind of a berry flavor and it's just kind of there. You know what I mean? I would drink it. It's not bad. So I'd give it probably like a six or something. I think the caffeine is kind of doing something in there. Kind of th not throwing off the flavor. Or maybe, maybe it is kind of throwing off the flavor. I think the caffeine is kind of messing with it a little bit. And it's not, it's not as great. Okay, next up, we have the electrolyte flavors. Orange Sport and Watermelon Sport. Naturally, we're going to start with Watermelon because that's my favorite. That's a completely different type of watermelon than that watermelon. Hmm. I, man, I think I might have to, I think this might knock that out of first place. I, th I think I know what it is. So this one, where it has electrolytes in it, it has a, a slight uh, salty taste to it, which I love. I, I don't know why, I love the taste of salt. So it, it's, it tastes almost like if you had a piece of watermelon and you sprinkled a little salt on it. It has that type of flavor to it. And it's also has that like light and refreshing, refreshing, <laughs> light and refreshing flavor. That's gotta be something to do like in the hospital or something. Refreshing. That, okay. That's, that's taking the spot of that. That's number one. That's a, I can't give it a 10 because you know, you just can't give us. You can't can't give anything a ten. I'll give it a nine point seven. I think that's gonna. I don't think either one of these are gonna beat that out, and I don't think the orange is gonna beat that out. All right, we're gonna do orange. You know that that is exactly what I expected. It's exactly what I expected. It tastes like a. Like orange tang or like an orange 
kind of like an orange Gatorade type flavor. If I remember, if I remember right, orange Tang had kind of a, and I think even the orange Gatorade maybe had kind of like that that thick flavor, in it, like a. I'm not just. I'm not to put it into words, but if you those of you that understand what I'm saying, you'll get it. It's got like it's got that like thick like film type flavor. It's like a lighter, more refreshing version of that. I'm, I'm gonna give it a. I think it's above this fruit punch. I'll probably give it like a 7.8. So the watermelon sport belongs at the top. I promise you, after this review, I'm gonna drink every single bit of that. And the orange goes right there. I feel like that's a pretty, pretty, pretty good lineup. All right, now, now we're getting into uh, dangerous territory. If something's gonna be really bad, it's probably gonna be one of these two. Because I have, I don't think, out of everything I've taste tested and done for videos and all that stuff, I don't think I've come across any flavor of anything that was unsweetened that wasn't horrible. So I'd say if these flavors just, <laughs> if they just aren't horrible, I'd say, I'd call that a win. It has a very strong smell. I smelled it as soon as I opened the package. Right, let's start off with pineapple. Please be good. There's one, two, three. It smells promising. Eh, it's not bad. I'll give you that. It's just so... It's so weak. And I, I think the circle ones were the same way. They were just weak. Yeah, that didn't really help. It's got it's pineapple. It tastes like pineapple, but it's like a I don't know, just like a super watered down pineapple. I mean, it's definitely it's definitely at the bottom. It'll probably be pineapple lemon. So pineapple, I'm gonna give that maybe like a four and a half. Like I said, it's it must just be extremely hard to make unsweetened flavors taste good because I don't think I've ever had one that was that was good. Lemon. Okay, that's only two. Maybe we'll go. Maybe we'll start off a little bit lighter. Actually, I think the lemon I might like a little bit better than the, uh, a little better than the pineapple. That's not bad at all. That actually kind of just tastes like a, uh, like if you had, like if you went to a restaurant and they just put like a little lemon wedge in your water and you just squeeze the lemon in your water. It's almost exactly uh, what it tastes like. Yeah, that's actually. Surprisingly, that's good. Just for good measure. Give it one more. See if that does. See if that makes it better. No, one more. One more is a little too much. Two was, two was perfect. All right, so let's get these in their respective slots. Lemon definitely belongs there. Pineapple definitely belongs there. I feel like this is a very... Very accurate uh, list. So if you were going to get one of these and, and try some of the flavors, obviously the best thing to do would be get them all, get, just get all the flavors and, and see what you like. But the flavors that I would recommend are definitely both watermelons, specifically the sport watermelon. I think if I had to like put these in a, in a race, let's say, I would say sport watermelons like out here. And then this is like here. And everything else is kind of like here. And then these are kind of <laughs> down here. This one's probably like over here. <laughs> like at the, over here at the very end. So this is a, like to scale how much I like each flavor. So anything in here is good. This is great. This is amazing. These are kind of eh. That's kind of, I probably wouldn't even, wouldn't even mess with that one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I love doing these videos where I uh, get something and just like taste all the flavors or try all the variations of things. So leave a comment down below what other uh, videos like this you'd like to see me do. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.